Hi, it's Steve from Pirate Select. In this video, we'd like to show you how easy it is to change the drive belt on your front load washer. Although this is a generic video for replacing the belt, you'll find that any belt-driven front load washer, the process will be almost identical to this. Now to do this repair, you will need access to the back of the washer. That may require disconnecting your inlet fill hoses and your drain hose, and be sure to unplug the washer as well. Now depending on your model, you may have a removable access panel on the back of your washer, or you may need to remove the complete back panel on your washer. In either case, that's the only way you're going to get to the belt. So next we'll locate and remove the retaining screws for that access panel. Now this particular access panel has tabs on both top and bottom. In this case, we're just going to lift up on it, release the bottom, pull it away, and then drop it down. Now with the cover removed, we have full access to the drive belt. If the drive belt on your model is still attached, you'll need to roll that off first. And it's a good idea to wear some protective gloves because typically the edges of that metal are quite sharp. So to get the old belt off, we're simply going to grasp it in one of the open areas and then just rotate the pulley while pulling backward on the belt and that'll roll it right off. As you can see, the dry belts for front load washers are typically a multi-ribbed belt. The ribs will fit into the motor pulley as well as lay against the flat driven pulley. Once they become cracked, they start to slip a bit and eventually they'll break. Now to replace the new one, we simply need to place it on the motor pulley first and then rotate it onto the large pulley. So we begin by wrapping it around the motor pulley, and then take it up one side of the drive pulley and just hold it against the drive pulley and then rotate. Now at this point, we'll need to make sure that we center the belt the motor pulley has more grooves than the belt does, so we simply need to shift the belt back and forth to make sure that it's centered on that larger pulley. In this case, we need to have it come back a bit, so we'll put a little tension on it, and we'll allow it to roll into the next set of grooves on the motor pulley. Now we have the belt pretty well centered. Just make sure that it didn't ride up onto the edge of your motor pulley. If it has, you'll either need to check the adjustments on your motor to make sure that it's mounted properly, as well, check the driven pulley to make sure it is fully seated on the basket shaft and that the nut is tightened to the manufacturer's specifications. Now we can go ahead and put the back panel back on and push our washer back into place. Thank you so much for watching this video. We sure hope that you now have the confidence to change the belt on your front load washer. If you have any tips, be sure to share them in the comments section below. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And hey, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.